And if that's you, don't worry because your Copium Waifu Yutsu has your back. In today's video guys, we're gonna go over the top five ways to get skill powders in Cookie Run Kingdom. So to make sure you maybe never run out of skill powders so you can be farming them every day so you never run out. Let's hop into way number five now, events. I would say overall the best way to get skill powders in Cookie Run Kingdom is probably events, but the reason they're number five on this list is because they are really, really inconsistent because sometimes you get updates, sometimes you don't get updates, sometimes those updates have skill powders in them, sometimes they don't. If they have skill powders in them, we get a lot of skill powders. If they don't have any skill powders in them, then we don't get any skill powders. So that's why they're number five on this list. If you're in an event right now, which when this video comes out, there will be an event and there'll probably be a way to get skill powders. But if you're not in an event, then you might want to listen to the next couple ones down the list here. Now the fourth best way to get skill powders is going to be using your magic laboratory to craft them. If you guys have the magic laboratory unlocked, I think you guys unlock it around 10, 20 something, something like that. But whenever you get this unlocked, you can start making skill powders whenever you upgrade this thing. Now guys, the problem with this is, is that you get random skill powders as you see here. So you can't craft like a specific skill powder that you need, but this will give you random skill powders if you're in a down period where there's no events, no new cookie out, and you've already leveled everyone up. You could actually throw resources in here to build your skill powders. But hey, let's say you don't want a random chance to get your skill powders and you want a way to get them 100% every time, whichever one you want. Well guys, that's why we have story stages and Sweet Tower of Chaos. Sweet Tower of Chaos can give you chests for them. And there's also some stages in the Sweet Tower of Chaos that can give them to you, but also story stages too. Some story stages that you go to, it'll let you get a certain type of magic powder. Now guys, this is really helpful because you can go from a lower level stage to a higher level stage to get more magic powders. Though I would recommend lower level stages to give you for steam powders and not the higher ones sometimes because the stamina to reward ratio really isn't there. But guys, that is what I recommend to you guys if you're doing story stages or Sweet Tower of Chaos. But guys, before we get into the second and best way to get magic powders in Cookie Run Kingdom, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're trying to push 1,000 subscribers on the channel here, and it would really help the channel grow if you guys could maybe drop a subby too. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the second and first best way to get skill powders now. The second best way to get skill powders is going to be actually the shop. That being the Seaside Market, the Rainbow Shell Gallery, your Arena Shop, and your Guild Shop. You can get magic powders from all of these shops here um, and get some powders. Uh, easy level up there. So, guys, get grinding away on these events to get some points to be able to actually upgrade your skill powders for your cookies. And, guys, you might be wondering, what's the best way to get magic powders, you two? Well... That's an easy one. Your bounties, of course. Every day, bounties come up on the board here, so you can do these bounties to get magic powders. The higher level you are on these bounties, the more magic powders you get. Now, guys, I would recommend, hear me out here, that you actually use some gems sometimes, 300 per reset, to actually get the magic powders that you need, because these only appear certain days of the week, and when you get to the weekends, those resets get a lot more expensive. So guys, I would recommend using 300 gems when they're there if you only have 10 magic powders. So go ahead and use 900 gems to get all of your magic powders. At the highest level, I believe you get like 12 magic powders per run. So use that to your advantage to get as many magic powders as possible. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like this new style of green screen video, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if I need better lighting or what I need better. Judging by just how the video looks and everything like that, I won't know anything until I go into post and edit everything. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video and comment below what I can change with this style of video because I do enjoy doing videos like this. And this style of video will be used for a future video series I have planned in the future that does take a long time to edit. That being our um, one boss beats all. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing a big script for right now. So that's why it's taking so long to come out. So hope you guys stick around and subscribe for that. But yeah, anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope everyone enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one later. Bye-bye.